There are two main types of affordable learning solutions, open educational resources and library resources. Open educational resources are course materials that are freely available and openly licensed so that faculty can do the five R's. Revise, remix, reuse, redistribute, and retain. Copyright, that is. You can download the material to tailor it to your course, save a copy locally, and share it back out with attribution. You'll know if something is OER by whether or not it has a Creative Commons license. These licenses specify exactly how you can use it. We'll talk more about that in a moment. Some people wonder whether free materials can possibly be any good. One way that academics handle questions of quality is through peer review. So for example, many of the textbooks in the Open Textbook Library have been reviewed by other faculty for accuracy, clarity, organization, and other criteria. The evaluation rubric is available online. But instructors also know that textbooks from traditional publishers aren't always perfect either. If you find an error or problem with a textbook that's under traditional copyright, all you can do about it is wait for the next even more expensive edition to arrive. If the textbook is openly licensed, though, you can download it and make your own version that fixes the problems you found. You can make a version that's uniquely relevant to California or that solves accessibility problems in the original. Then, you can share it back out to the Commons so that other people don't have to repeat your work. With open educational resources, faculty have a lot more control over the quality of their course materials than with a traditional publisher textbook. Of course, there are infinite options for course materials beyond textbooks. You may instead choose chapters from a few different textbooks. You can search repositories for different kinds of learning objects to support your course. A repository of open content that I recommend is the California Open Online Library. There are many other places to look besides including Merlot, OER Commons, and more. There are four basic types of Creative Commons licenses which can also be combined in certain ways. All of the licenses mandate attribution, but creators can also choose to prohibit commercial uses or derivative works or require that users share alike. If you run across content that you want to use, but it doesn't have an assigned license, you can still always contact the copyright holder. Library resources are not open educational resources. They're almost always under copyright restrictions subject to contract with a database provider and password protected. Yet these are high quality resources the students are already paying for access to with their tuition and fees. One way to make use of library resources is to replace a textbook with an ebook that the library licenses. If you do this, please contact a librarian first. You will need to make sure that the ebook license allows for unlimited simultaneous use in order to accommodate an entire class. If you'd like to use an ebook but it's not in the library catalog, a librarian can investigate whether it's feasible for the library or your department to purchase a license for it that will support its use as a textbook. Depending on the vendors, students will have varying ability to read on different platforms, save, download, or print. You'll want to check out all of these use questions before the term starts so that you're prepared to help your students. If your class uses a course pack, then library resources could be a really good fit. When you give a list of articles and book chapters to the bookstore or copy shop, they go out to the Copyright Clearance Center and they purchase permissions for your class before they print and sell the course pack. In many cases, students are already paying for access to these exact articles and chapters through their tuition and fees because the library has already licensed them. Students should not pay twice. Going through your syllabus and figuring out where the library already has access to your content might require the help of a librarian.